March 16, 2024, and today we're going to take a look at this Will Levis rookie card. It's a green prism from the 2023 Panini Prism football set, card number 397. I put together 15 recent comps that were all taken through eBay auctions and have decided that I'll be using those to establish what this card is worth, some fair value, and what I'd be offering for it if I was looking to pick up this card. As you can see on the right-hand side, we have those 15 comps. Again, all of them were auctions. No buy it now, no best offer. I want to see the bidding process happen to establish fair market value. As you can see from the graph, we've got a low of about $11, a high of $23. So 100% swing is kind of the graph that I like to see. It means that things aren't too out of control, but it also means that there's a bit of opportunity for profit if you can pick up the right card. Now, let's look at the meat and potatoes. But before we get into numbers that you can see, I want to say this. These numbers should be used for in-person trades where you can take a peek at the card yourself. You got to make sure those edges are sharp as well as those corners and make sure that that surface is scuff free. Remember, we want to go through the effort of doing all these studies so we can pick up a nice looking card. Back to the numbers here. Up at the top, we see we've had six recent PSA submissions. Four have come back PSA 10. That's a 66.7% return. Not a huge sample size, so I wouldn't necessarily use it when I'm determining whether or not I'm buying this card. Blue down here at the bottom, $16.02 is the average bid price paid by a winning person on auction. So $16.02, bought them a card. $2.96 on average had it shipped to their house for a total all-in price of $18.98. These are not what I would consider to be fair market value for this card because it doesn't take into consideration that sellers have fees that they must address. And that's 13 to 15 percent right off the top of the sale. So that's what this orange number is. It takes off those fees of the blue number 1602 and you get $13.60. This is what I consider to be fair market value for this card. It's still not what I'm willing to pay. I like to employ a stoplight system. Uh, green means go. That's 70%. That's my first offer. That's $11.21. Yellow means slow. That's a 75% offer at $12.01. And red means hard stop. That's an 80% offer at $12.81. I also like to make sure that I'm getting into the bottom third of sales. So I go to this column and we are going to sort this one ascending. After that, we'll drop down five. One, two, three, four, five, eleven dollars and forty one cents is in the bottom third of sales. So if I'm in person and I see a card that I want, right, this number is my new final offer. I'll make the first offer at green, but eleven dollars and forty one cents is where I am stopping in general. If I want to get in the top third of sales, I'd go five from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. $14.52 would be the top third of the market, something that I think you could get, you know, pretty relatively easily. Uh, that would net you about a $3 profit margin or a $17.08 buy it now offer on eBay. So there you have it. Average price you're looking at as far as fair market value, $13.60. I'm willing to go up to $11.41 and I'll be selling it for $14.52. Hopefully this helped you decide what your card is worth. If it did, let me know.